All right, folks, let's get started. Happy Monday. Um, it's Monday, uh, May May 8th. Um, my Giants are on. The Warriors are going to play in a little bit. I've got the TV on behind you, and uh, I'm going to watch the Giants game for a little bit until the, until the Warriors game gets started. Hopefully it's a good day for sports. Um, I think if the Warriors get beat tonight, they're eliminated. Um, so, yeah, hopefully not. Uh, let's see. So we're starting a new portrait tonight. This one is um, Tara. She's my buddy uh, JJ's sister. She was nice enough to send me a few um, portraits to take a look at to see if any of them I could paint. And I think I think this is actually going to be a good one. All the portraits were good, but this one I picked because uh, because. Uh, you know, it's got a good shadow shapes on the right side there. Um, I could see your eyes without bringing up all the pictures that she sent. Um, most of the pictures that I have of her uh, don't have her eyes. I like the color of that scarf. It'd be nice to do something with that. Um, yeah, and I think, you know, I think it's a, it's a good, it must be a selfie or something. But uh, as far as selfies go, it's a pretty good one. There's not too much lens distortion, probably making her nose a little bigger than than what it should be you can't see your ears so that's usually a sign of a little bit of lens distortion if the camera's back farther you'd be able to see your ears um but that's also just kind of a that's also a factor of being so the camera being so close to her face um but anyways i think this is a good one i kind of attempted to start on it last night uh which was sunday night but i was a little tired and uh, and, uh, I got about 10 minutes into it and I was like, what am I doing? Take a break. <laughs> so we're going to take another stab at it today. Um, so let's get started. Uh, for measurements, let's see what we can do. Um, well, before we take any measurements, let's get like a little, looks like that, looks like, it's got just a little tilt to the right. So it looks like her chin is a little bit left to center and that kind of peak above, you know, up right above her nose where her uh, forehead hits her uh, hair, that's a little bit right of center. So like if we put a little center line or a little dot for centers here. Um, let me just double check, make sure my microphone's unmuted. We're good to go. So, Let's pick a couple lines. Remember, we make a deal with ourselves that uh, we make a deal with ourselves that we don't move a couple of these lines. So since we can see her chin, let's get a little bit of that neck too. Let's move her chin up a little bit. So this would be the bottom of her chin. I've got it a little bit left of center, which seems right. Um, and then we want to catch her hat. I think I want to use, since I can't use the top of her head, let's use where her top, top of her hat meets her hair. And that's pretty close to the top. And it is a little bit, let's see, it's a little bit, just a hair right of center. So maybe you're right about here. Let me get some medium on my brush. Um, And it kind of comes down like this. Maybe not that much. But this is the line. This is the line that shall not change. And um, we're going to call it here. Make sure I'm not in your way. I, got, I remember turning my hat around before we started. but And we'll draw that one real quick. I don't think I'm going to. Let's see. Call this the center line here or the, the center of the bottom of her chin. This is the center line of the paper. This is the center of her little, I don't think it's a widow's peak, but kind of where that V, that upside down V is. All right, so those lines do not change. So what else can we use to measure? Um, 
an easy one. It'd be nice if we could do something with the bottom of her nose and the bottom of her, of her chin. So let's take a measurement there. So using the tilt, so not a per, not a not a true plumb plumb line, but a little the little bit of tilt of her head. Let's see what we can do. So from the bottom of her chin to the bottom of her nose. So let's take that measurement and move up. Um, bottom of her nose looks like it comes out to right about where her pupils are. So let's mark that and then let's just hop up from there real quick. And so her, her pupils go right to the bottom of the hat. So that's exactly thirds. So um, all right, so let's measure that out. So I think the easiest way to do it is to find thirds on here. I think it's roughly there. Nope. So we just keep making it bigger. Don't forget to use a straight arm. Ooh, I think that's pretty good. Ooh. I think that's really good. The question is, maybe I'll use my hand. So I think there. We'll do that kind of lightly. That doesn't feel right now that I put it on the paper. In there. And maybe a little bit more. It's important to keep your head in the same spot too. No, that's not quite right. You can probably tell that it's a little high. You can't really see that top one. So let's try it again. Nope, a little bit too. All right, I like that. I'm just gonna grab another brush real quick. So this one is a little bit lower. Again, that's a little bit lower, it looks like. And that's perfect. So let's, I know we're not using, try, try not to use Gamsol, but for sketching it's okay. Um, I've also got some brush dip that I, that I bought quite a while ago. That, um, that I'm using to, to, to uh, I forgot why I pulled that off. I got some brush dip that I, I'm using to, if I do put solvent in my brush or if I, the brush dip allows you to not have to clean your brush um, for weeks. You gotta be a little careful with it though. If you get too much in your brush, you gotta really wipe it out <coughs> or your paint will never dry. So I'm really excited about those two measurements. So remember um, this one here is the bottom of her nose. And then let's make sure we're centered here. So it comes out this way a little bit. So remember this is the bottom of her nose Probably made that a little darker than we need it. And then this line here is where her pupils are at. Now it's important to remember, usually we do the tear ducts. Usually we do the tear ducts. Um, so when we're when we're using these for um, guidelines, we got to remember. Oh, this isn't a tear duct. This is a pupil. Because if you look at that source image, oh, and I'll get the source image uploaded too. But if you look at the pupils, they're higher than her tear ducts. So it's like I don't want to say a quarter of an inch, but maybe 
I was going to say two eighths, and that's a quarter of an inch. So maybe a quarter of an inch, or not quite a quarter of an inch higher than her tear ducts. All right, and then remember, oh, we almost screwed up really bad. We almost screwed up really bad. So let me just double check here. So this, is not the top of her hair anymore, even though I made this hard rule of not changing it. We just measured out the thirds and stuff, but it's actually the bottom of her hat. So why don't we keep that? I know we said we're never gonna change it, but I don't wanna measure all that again and, and it come out so perfectly. So that's the bottom of her hat. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean up a little bit of the mess that we made and we're gonna to have to make a new mess. I'm so, so used to like in my line of work to be able to label stuff um, with call outs or, you know, you double click on it you could add a little text to it. All right. So that's the top, the bottom of her hat. <laughs> so much for, so much for hard rules. And then her hair kind of comes out like this. I know I'm justifying my cho my change, but maybe it's better to use her hat instead of her hair. That's a waypoint. I know, I know. I'm justifying. I'm justifying it. Well, fine. So we've got where her pupils are going to be. We've got the bottom of her nose. We've got the bottom of her chin. We've got her hat, which I think is actually farther up from her hair. So this would be her hair. You guys must be so bored of this, but I gotta tell you, man, it's it's really important to be able to measure. I painted for, for two years with crappy, crappy, I mean, beautiful paintings, but terrible likenesses. And the reason those likenesses weren't any good were because, um, was because I didn't I didn't measure and couldn't measure or was too lazy to measure. Now it feels like, now that I can measure, looking back, it feels like I was too lazy to measure, but, but to be honest with you, I couldn't. <laughs> I couldn't or I would. All right. <clears throat> so now we need another spot to measure from. So what can we, what can we use? What can we use? Um, how about the bottom of her chin to the bottom of her lip? So four of those, four of those gets us, so there's four bottoms of her chins to the bottom of her lips to kind of mid nose to this part in her hair is that a is that a useful measurement i don't think so i don't think so i don't think so how about from the top of her hat to her eyebrows Let's see where that takes us. Kind of the center of her nose. Ooh, that's kind of center of her lips. And then bottom of her chin. Hmm. 
Well, let's try it. The Giants are already down 3 nothing against a terrible Washington team. So, sit up straight, arm straight. So kind of the top of the brow area is where it looked like. So one, two, three, four. That's not really very good. So a little bit too long there. Two, three, four, five. Oh, let's make it longer. Two, three, four. Uh, let's try something else. So we did top of the hat. What gets us? How about the the hairline to the pupils? Since we've got that mark, what does that get us? So let's do that. So kind of the top of the hair to the pupil. Uh, that doesn't get us anything. How about top of the hat to the top of the hat to the pupil? I think we just tried that. That gets us to the bottom of the nose, and that gets us below the chin. But we already have that. Well, no kidding, that's where we started. How about how about if we take that measurement and we go to the side, look at the sides. So how about if we take that measurement from the bottom of her nose to the bottom of her chin and we stick the end of our brush right through her pupil at her center of her nose. And that, my friends, gets us the width of her head at that point. So let's use that. So bottom of her nose, bottom of her chin, we got to make a center line. So remember, it comes here. This is center line. I might have to move that nose over, I can tell. You do have to move that nose over. I think we're on to something. And I, and I know this will get faster. It's already getting faster for me. But I hope to not have to bore you guys to death with it in the future. Let's just clean that up a little bit. Get it on the center. All right. Bottom of the chin, bottom of the nose. Bottom of the chin, bottom of the nose, center of the center of the face through the pupils gets us a line right here. And if you're squinting or you have one eye closed, don't open it before you put your mark down. Let me just check it again. So I gotta go even wider actually. It's a very cool mark to find. And her head actually goes like this through here. Let's clean up that line. We're 20 minutes in and we've got two, two waypoints. <laughs> this is gonna take a while. But these things are important, so let's do it again. I'm gonna use my left hand this time. Let's check it, my left hand. Am I blocking the screen? No. Yeah, I'll be damned if that's not right. Very exciting. It's, it's nice when these waypoints come together. All right, I see it right about there. And again, it goes like this. Just measure it again. Damn it, I'm not far enough out again. It's kind of weird why it doesn't, why it's so far off the first time.
All right, what else can we do? So, what else can we do? So, we've got a couple of very important measurements. We've got the width of her head in this spot. We've got the bottom of her nose. We've got the center of her pupils. Um, so let's do this. Let's, let's see what we can do with that eye. So, I want to see. So I think the side of her head is the width of her eye. So, and then the distance between the eyes is the same as the width of the eye. So from tear duct to tear duct, from tear duct to out of eye, and then it's about a third more on the uh, of skin. So we basically got three and two thirds units. So let's just guesstimate. I'm going to guesstimate. So this is not from her tear duct. This is so her her pupils here. So if we guesstimate that her eye is about this wide, we should end up with about a third more. So that's about a half more. So let's go just a little bit wider. So all the way out to the edge. That's more like it. So let's go, let's check this side. It looks like it's about the same distance. Tear duct to tear duct. Width of her eye. And then about a little more than a third. So center, tear, so tear duct to tear duct. Tear duct to outer eye. We'll put that down here. And then we got about a third more over here. So let's just do that. We'll widen that up a little bit. I'm okay with widening it a little bit because my process, we were talking the last time, I tend to narrow heads. Right, I think that's gonna give us something to work with there. Just clean that up a little bit. So let's just draw an eye, remembering, so, and her pupil is a little bit outside from the center. If I go from the tear duct, end of the tear duct, to the end of her eye, if I go into the tear duct, to the end of her eye, and we said this was her pupil, just a little bit outside. So that's about where a pupil should be. So let's just draw an eye real quick. So her tear duct's a little lower. This is the bottom of this is the bottom of her top eyelid. Her eye comes up over it and then slams back down and ends up under her eyelid. This kind of goes like this. And then, it's actually very narrow through here. And then her tear duct is gonna be down here. A little bit weird, a little bit weird doing it that way. We don't mind a little weird.
might be a little wide, but that's all right. So let's draw this eye. <clears throat> so that's the top of our eyelid. Let me get this a little wetter. And let me scoot back a little bit. Try not to try not to death grip this thing. Pretty terrible, pretty terrible. We're oil painters though, we could fix all that. I listen all day about how bad <laughs> the Washington Nationals are. It's the top of the fifth and they're beating my Giants five to nothing already. What is, what the hell? All right. I'm gonna get a different brush for this stuff because I don't want to destroy my nice browns. Probably a little too immature for this. This line comes way down. I don't know what I'm measuring from, but it kind of starts coming back down here. Might as well finish that where we think that pupil is going to be. I'm using negative space too, so like I'm also looking at the whites of the eye and how big that spot is. Um, Careful not to move that eye up. Let's check our pupils again. That looks pretty good. I'm working on the eyes way too early, but that's the waypoints we were given. So let's just take advantage of them. The problem with messing with the eyes is we're going to spend so much time here and we just don't have time. Let's take a swag at the eyebrows and I'm using kind of the distance between the top of our eye to, to see how high I want to put that eyebrow. I always make the eyebrows the wrong angle. We can see that it goes a little bit past her tear duct. Kind of tapers out. Doesn't quite go to the end, does it? Let's just leave that there for now. This is all shadow shape over here. I 
I have a tendency to want to make that point in eyebrows with it not there, this little peak. I don't know why I do that. All right, let's quit messing with the eyes for a bit. The reason I wanted to finish the pupils though and the iris is we can measure now the side, the wings of the nose. So I think this wing, if I go straight up and down, and it's important to, to differentiate and to remember, did you use your plumb line straight up and down or did you use it at an angle? I want to use it as an angle because that's the tilt of the head, but sometimes the waypoints line up straight up and down. So in this case, the wing of her nose, or what I call the wing of her nose, the very, the very outside, kind of lines up with this, if I go straight up and down. So that's kind of here. Let's take another look, just because I've been screwing that up all night. Ooh, I got the shakes. So her nose kind of goes up, and then around. And then kind of like this, and then kind of like this, and then kind of like this. <clears throat> Just because it's bugging me, we're going to add a little line here. Got to be careful with this for women. You don't want to give them baggy eyes, wrinkly eyes. It's a big shadow that kind of comes along here, and a big shadow over her, kind of the ridge of her, the orbit of her eye. This side, there's a big shadow shape that kind of goes like here, and down, and down like this, and then down like this. And then down. And then this kind of goes down. Let's let's finish the bottom of this side of her nose. So make sure it's the same as the other side. Where does where does the side of that side end? So if I go this way, so if I go straight up and down, it's where her tear duct is. If I go the angle of her head, it's where the outside of her tear duct is. So it's kind of like right here. And we almost don't need to measure that, right? We've drawn enough noses now. But let's check it again. So, into the tear duct. If I follow the line of her head, it's about right. Kind of winging this one here. And the shadow shape comes all the way down here. Follows kind of this curvature.
kind of blew this bit here. This whole underside of the eye. I'm adding these shadow shapes maybe a little bit early because I'm going to use them to measure from All right, how wide are her lips? So if I go the angle of her head, the top lip, and you should measure the, where the top lip goes out, and I think it's all the way to the right side of her iris. So let's make a little line there. This is the wrong brush for this. I need to throw that brush away. It's a present though, so. So if we go the angle of her head, the top lip ends at her iris. It kind of goes lips on the top, her lip kind of goes up and very slightly down. <clears throat> but kind of an illusion, because it ends up higher. It ultimately ends up higher. So how is that possible? That means that it, the angle that it takes off from must be higher than what I thought. So it's like that. So if this is where it starts, it goes up, 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 and it ends up higher. So let's leave it like that for now. I think it's actually lower though. Let me move the whole thing down a bit. <clears throat> Sorry, I was blocking. I tried moving the camera in a different spot, but it's no good. Ah! It's higher. I'm just going to have to keep using this brush. If I ruin it, I ruin it.
I'm drawing this bit here because I want to see where the bottom lip connects. I'm blocking just a little bit of red in there. Whoops, I think I got too much of a tilt there if I can compare it to the nose. Let's bring it up a little bit. This part actually looks a little wider. Oh, where does that end up? Top of her lip. Man, it goes all the way out to her pupil. It's a little bit farther. Or people, and then this kind of comes down like that. This kind of comes down like that. Shadow shape, it kind of runs like this. Boop. Boop. Shadow shape comes down like this. <clears throat> so maybe a little bit low on the lip. My bottom lip. Let's see, she's got kind of a little smiley thing going on. This comes around like this. Kind of a smile line here. Let's see, where's the widest spot on her face? I think it's kind of around, like if this is kind of the ball of her nose. <coughs> kind of at the top of the ball of her nose. Which is right about there. Make a little mark there. Kind of using her pupils again for a level. So that's kind of the, the widest spot. So just as we're doing this, So I'm not saying that's how wide to make it. I'm saying that's just the widest spot. We may have to adjust that. You 
Move this side. <clears throat> Let's see, we take the width of her nose. What does that get us? So if we take the width of her nose, kind of at its flat spot, that's literally how wide her face is right there. So if we measure that right, we could use it to measure the width of her face right there. Which as you can see, So we gotta reel that in a little bit because that's how wide her face is. Oop. Oop. So that one's right. Even him farther. <clears throat> Crazy. Crazy. And I'm not saying that that's the narrowest spot because we just said what the widest spot was. It's here. But let's take that angle. It's kind of rounding. That's the widest spot. Oopsie. So I hear you. This is probably why a lot of people don't don't do portraiture. This is, that's kind of fun, actually. It's fun when it all works out, but, all right. Yeah, bottom, bottom of her chin. This side doesn't seem quite right to me. And I think that might have fixed it. <clears throat>
clean up as you go. I like to clean up as I go because I could rarely remember why I have certain lines in certain places. Yeah, I still don't feel quite right about this side. Where is her neck? I think it starts like right where her pupil is. Following the tilt of her head. about that later. What about the other side? Following the tilt of her head. It's kind of on the outside of her eyelid there. Following the tilt of her head, so whew, it's all the way up here. See what we could do. That hair kind of hits here. It also comes down here. It comes down here. It kind of curls around her face a little bit. <clears throat> it comes out just a little bit here. It's pretty thin here by her eye. And then the hat kind of hits here. And then it gets kind of big here. And then this kind of goes like this. Starts a little higher than the top of her nose. I don't have to paint any ears. I think we're going to have to fix this side of her face. Man, or her nose is crooked. Let me look here. Yeah, I think it's a little wider. This pops out here.
Yeah, that angle is just... Maybe I got the chin wrong. But it definitely tapers through here. But then I think it just keeps going. More? Well, we'll eventually hit a spot where it'd be like, that's too much. I'm thinking that's better. <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in Procreate. <clears throat> Just to check myself. Two things I could do. I could put it in Procreate. Or... sleep on it. Usually when I let my eyes rest a little bit, I'm like, oh, son of a gun, that's what the problem is. I don't want to do a full blown underpainting. The nose looks pretty weird too. That might be why. That might, that might be why I think the, uh, that might be why I drew it narrower than I did. What happens if we do that? Yep, I think it's a time for a procreate break. Maybe we'll do that. We'll pause for a sec. We'll throw this in Procreate. Procreate's a iPad, iPhone app that you could use to do uh, layering. So let me do that, and then we'll uh, I'll hop back on. All right. Well, with the magic of being able to pause recording, um, I threw a picture of are painting into Photoshop, not Photoshop, Procreate, and this is what I come up with. So what you do is I took that picture of Tara and then I kind of sketched over kind of the important features and then what I did was I dropped a layer with our painting over that. Let me make this a little bit bigger for you, if I can. Um, so as you could see, um, I can't, 
can't really show you. I can't really show you here, but let me move this over me in the in the board. We'll get rid of this one. Um, let me put it side by side ish. <clears throat> And then I will take my paintbrush and I'll use it as a pointer. But as you can see, this area over here, um, her face goes quite a bit wider up into here. Um, let's get this out of the way real quick. So yeah, her face goes up quite a bit wider. I got I got it basically cut off here, and then. Her pupil in her eye is actually a little bit, her whole eye is a, quite a bit to the left. I guess that's, I, moved, I made her eye a little bit too close that way. Um, huh. Let's see real quick. I typically we like to have one eye. It looks good. Sorry, fussing around with the actual Procreate image. Yeah, so her face is quite a bit wider. So I'm basically going to do some cleanup. Um, working on some of the things that I see. So we're going to get rid of this line here. It's also, her face is kind of narrow on both sides. So, her hair kind of comes out here. And then her face actually comes out all the way to about there. So we kind of got to get rid of all this. Mouth looks pretty good. I'm really way too low on her scarf. And as much as I hate that we have to do this, we're gonna have to move our eyes a little bit too. Yeah, this whole thing. We'll get to our eyes in a second. But yeah, it goes here. And then we let that whole thing out. put this back and 
the line that we weren't supposed to move. I just moved. Okay with that line. Our nose we gotta move out a little bit. Both sides. I think we could just do that with some game saw though. I don't think we did too bad though. I don't think we did too bad. We're certainly getting better at this. This line has to completely move out. So this line needs to move up. Quite a bit. The lips look pretty good. But I hate to do this, but we definitely got to move that eye out. The pupil is actually right about here. We got the height right, we just got the width wrong. Notice I moved the pupil first because that's the easiest thing to, to find and to work off of. Her eyebrows are a little higher.
this one here we got to move just a little bit so we're going to do the same thing again we're going to move that pupil about a pupil's width over and i think i'm going to clean around it These napkins I have are terrible. Let me try this one. I got some expensive Vivas in the garage, specifically bought for oil painting. But they're in the garage and I'm out here. Oh, what else? I don't think we did too bad. That's not, that's some pretty minor, pretty minor fixes. up a little bit.
Jack Peterson almost just did a splash hit, but it's foul. Just got out. All right, you guys, I think we're going to call it for tonight. We're at about an hour and 20 minutes. The Giants don't look like they're going to win this one, but hopefully the Dubs do. Next time we're together, we will add some, start adding some color. I know what you're thinking. The eyes probably aren't perfect right now, but we'll get them perfect. Um, try not to fuss with them too much because I'll fuss with them all night. Or at least the whole session. All right, you guys, have a good night. Thank you for joining me. Looks like we'll do this one. I want this one to be a really good one. This one isn't gonna be my, um, my intention was to, 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 to reach out to my Facebook friend to get some subject matter to put in my sketchbook. The problem with that though is if anybody asks for one of these, one of my friends asks for one of these, can't exactly say no. So you might not have noticed this, but I've got I've got this painting on a panel. And so if they happen to want it, I don't have to rip it out of my sketchbook. So um, the sketchbook is fine for people that I find on the internet but I don't want to jack up my sketchbook. And then I also want to be able to give these to the people that want them. All right, you guys, <laughs> sorry, I could fuss with this all night, but um, hope you have a wonderful week. I'll talk to you soon, bye.